what's the best way to prevent erosion around your house in Florida? It's called River Rock. And it's been part of my 2021 project, home improvement project for Pink Poppy Drive. So what I did is remove all the old mulch and put the weed barrier down and anywhere where there's a roof there's river rock and believe me we had a deluge this last week that rivaled anything I've seen in the six years we've been here and not one little piece of stone moved if it were mulch it would be all over the yard so I'm gonna give you a little tour hopefully put this on YouTube so people can see this is a very pretty Florida bush that I don't know the name of it but the flowers look like little roses and it's in bloom right now we're gonna go in the backyard I probably scraped up 10 or 12 yards of um, old mulch from the front and the sides and I've recycled that to the backyard here this is the the pool area and you'll see when we go out front you'll see the uh, new concrete curbing that borders all the beds which is really pretty special I've been wanting to do this for a long 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 time it's not a cheap thing to do but it's a the thing about river rock is you don't have to replace it every year as a matter of fact it's good for life every once in a while you sprinkle a few new pebbles on top and it looks brand new so no mulch which is great so here's the pool and here's the the floor that I did a few weeks ago with uh, Sherwin Williams deck paint came out good and over in the backyard you can see the this area it looked all sandy before but now it's all recycled mulch and the bird bath is over over here and over here um, one of the things that I was focusing on is making the uh, beds smaller so what you see here is the new bed with the river rock and this this used to be mulch and a tree took that out and anything that you see that's just dirt um, within a week or so I'm going to be putting down um, new sod here's a sneak peek at the front right side of the really cool concrete curbing that's uh, going to be all around all the beds you'll get another look at it but you can see it up around the holly tree the way it kind of swerves around and this is a picture close up it's colored a light brown and it's got a decoration that they press into it it's ex it's extruded um, directly from a machine with uh, that mixes actually it's pre-mixed and it's loaded in by a by an employee but it's an extrusion machine why am I walking in the woods why not we've got a, a lot of yard waste that I'm going to uh, break all down all this is biodegradable and spread it out but you can see there's a lot of stuff here that I've accumulated in, in the project so now we're gonna hoof around the uh, front of the house so I'm gonna finish raking this stuff out no big deal I think I think I've been at this for 21 days or so six hours a day shoveling transplanting 
bushes, raking, really kind of a test for the old 71 year old body, but uh, fortunately been able to, to do it. This is the, uh, the weed blanket that I made a little makeshift, like a toilet paper roll thing, and uh, cut that to length. And then there's, there's pins that you spike it in and you put it in, put it on the, uh, there it is right there, put it down on the ground and no weeds ever. And this particular material is the best material on the market. Usually this stuff has like a three year warranty, the stuff I used has a 25 year warranty these are the wheelbarrows that are used by the crew that's doing the uh, curbing they will be back tomorrow to finish up this is my trusty little tractor that did a ton of work and this is my cool little uh, dump um, trailer that dumps and swivels with all my tools so now we walk over getting to the front of the house and you can see the nice new concrete curb that's really cool it's really beautiful and it's once again it's a low maintenance thing once you get it done because it keeps everything on the inside that belongs there and everything on the outside stays there um, this these are nice boxwoods this is a nice holly Everything was trimmed before I put all this stuff down, obviously. So this is quite a bit of uh, river rock. And once again, the, the border looks really cool. So in the front, there used to be a lot of azaleas in here that were not doing very well because they were in the shade and kind of overgrown. So I would be able to spruce this up with some plants and stuff, but... I wanted to get a clean slate and I actually transplanted transplanted the uh, azaleas out to the front. So this was curbing that they completed today. More boxwoods, another holly tree here. And the guy, the company that did this is called Citrus Curb and they are, they are the best, highest rated. They actually have a 5.0 rating with hundreds of reviews. They just do a super job. So when this dries in three days, I'll be able to uh, fill in the gaps here with more river rock, which I had left over. I saved actually. And here's the front. We've got a big, big bed here. Got a massive uh, bed here. And another bed on the other side of the driveway, and there's some mulch left over in the in the driveway that I've got to get rid of. But no river rock here because it's not going to come off the roof, and mulch is a lot cheaper than river rock. River rock's 150 bucks a yard. Mulch is 27 dollars a yard or 25. But but the curbing is really really kind of sexy. So this is a weeping yopon tree that on both sides of the driveway that are really beautiful and these are called Indian hawthorn bushes that are very pretty they fit well here I had a when I moved in here the place was so overgrown it was ridiculous and I had a landscape architect woman who has a crew uh, gave me a lot of it good advice I've done a lot of the work myself but I put in this uh, holly tree uh, in this new bed. This this bed's brand brand new, actually. Kind of did this from scratch. And the holly tree has tripled in size since I planted it probably three years ago, four years ago. And these are the azalea plants that I cut down and transplanted. I think they're going to be fine. And on this side, more Indian hawthorns. The weeping yopon always has birds in it. Uh, really really a neat tree with uh, medicinal value and stuff I mean if you read about it so 
what I wanted to do is feature this this curved wall that goes all the way in the front and I had stuff in the front of it that kind of blocked the view and now it's gonna gonna be highlighted and I'm gonna put the uh, the curbing goes goes in tomorrow and any place that's dirt is gonna be new sod that I'll put down myself I ordered four pallets of sod each pallet has 150 20 pound pieces so it's going to be a lot of work but I'll just use my cart and uh, do it as I can these are the four holly trees that are in the middle we got Michael Kelly Bridget and Aaron that every time I trim these I think of my kids so in the front here you can't see them, but th these are uh, going to be beautiful bl blue, really bright blue uh, lily of the valley. There's a Latin name for them, but they're going to be beautiful flowers. And here underneath, buried underneath, are flax lilies, which are, uh, there's always a wind here, always a westerly wind. And they're going to come down the slope. This is a hill. You can see it over here. And they'll be coming down that hill and it actually looks it's got motion it looks like a kind of a kind of a river pretty cool so there'll be some motion in the landscaping and uh, here's some more azaleas that I transplanted and last but not least is uh, this bed once again I shrunk it down considerably it was they just get bigger and bigger and bigger every year so I'll have that nice border and that's going to be it's going to be sod bahia sod and this is a big magnolia tree and right next door is his even bigger brother magnolia trees are nice they have a beautiful flower and bouquet but they're also they have a lot of debris and litter so it's kind of mixed emotions about these things but they're here and that's that so that's pretty much the project I've talked about. It. I'm going to make a YouTube video and send it to my friends and family because they know that I've worked very hard on this and I'm very proud of how it's come out. It's really cool. The beauty of doing it yourself is that you can tweak the design and make changes as you go. And I uh, couldn't be happier the way, with the way it's coming out. Okay, that's it from this end of the fence. Talk to you guys later.